Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we got some Mexican food. It is a really cold day today here in Ohio, so we got a ton of warm Mexican. I cannot wait. So I drove 40 minutes to come to this place because I saw amazing reviews. It was a really cute place inside and it is ran by a mother and her two kids. So I love supporting businesses like that. So we drove, might be a little hard to eat in the car, but we're gonna try our best and just do everything one by one. And yeah, so this is what I got. Let me, I screenshotted everything. It was around $50 total. I got some birria tacos, of course. My first time ever having them. I know, I cannot wait, because I always see videos of people dipping it in the sauce, and mm, my mouth is like dripping. I got chips and queso, of course, you gotta get that. And then I got the carne asada fries. This is carne asada steak, flat fries, queso, cheddar jack cheese, pico, sour cream, cilantro, lime, crema, guac, and that's it. And then elote, and a crispy chipotle chicken burrito. So I've never had elote e either, and that is sweet corn with queso. Oh, shit, I'm, I'm in the way. Sorry. Oops. I kinda wanted to park in the back a little bit, just because I'm right on like a big main road. But yeah, well you guys liked my Indian food video in the last one, like being at home. But we're gonna just eat this fresh in the car. If we make a little mess, we make a little mess. Easy cleanup, you know? Ooh, the burrito with the extra chipotle mayo sauce. So I, wait, I need to read you guys what's in the burrito. This is a shredded chicken burrito with cheddar jack cheese, queso, tortilla strips, crispy jalapenos, and chipotle mayo sauce. Sounds, mmm. I got that, and then let's check out what, part of, ooh, she labeled everything, I like that. Oh my goodness, look how picture perfect these look. Oh wow, mmm. Oh wow, the french fries are so cute, like being little flat ones like this. Wow. Oh my gosh. All the sauce on here. This might be like the best appetizer, like loaded fries I've ever had. Wow. The carne asada on here, amazing. And I love this homemade, um, was it a guac crema sauce? The green sauce is so good. Mmm, okay. So, yesterday I had food poisoning. I was very, very sick. It was like a full 24 hours. Um, and then, I didn't know if it was like the stomach flu or food poisoning or what it was, so I ate eggs. I made homemade eggs and I think they were a little old or it was either a hot head burrito. I don't know what it was. Or it could have been like a stomach bug. So I just did this like online virtual talking to a nurse. So I talked to a nurse that lived in Florida and I just FaceTimed her, told her my symptoms, and she gave me a prescription, and I just had to go through a drive-thru and pick it up. So how easy is that? This is the elote. I can see the Flaming Hot Cheetos in there. And here are Marietta. Oh, those look delicious. Okay, check these out. Wow. And then I wanna check out this corn, too. Wow. Oh my gosh, with the mayo in it. <gasps> So I don't know how I've never had this. Wow. This looks bussin' bussin'. <laughs> I don't even care if that word is cringe. I find that word so funny. <laughs> Look at that corn! Ah! So last time I did a Mexican food mukbang, you guys all told me it wasn't authentic. 
and I thought I was getting authentic, but this place said everything is authentic, so I hope it is this time. Mmm. <gasps> oh, wow. What could be better? This I'm going to be craving all the time and I'm going to live too far away to door dash it. Mmm. <laughs> so I got here a little early, like 15 minutes. So I was kind of watching them make everything. And they put the Flamin' Hot Cheetos in the blender. Or the food processor. Chopped it all up and put so much sauce on everything. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow. This would be easy to make at home. I'll have to try and make this. We'll make it over on my vlog channel. You guys, I hit 100K on my vlog channel. Thank you all so, so much for going over to that channel and subscribing and supporting my vlogs and casual cook, cook with me's, local coffee shop videos, just a little bit of everything. I posted a 30 minute long vlog the other day. And it makes me happy you guys are loving it. I'm having fun vlogging. And I made that channel exactly about a year ago. I made it in March of 2022. Wow. Okay. I need to wait. <laughs> Yum. Okay, let's try out this crispy chipotle chicken burrito. Do I have a knife to cut it? Like do a cross section? They did give me a knife, so let me try and cut this so we could see the inside. Look at the inside of this burrito. Wow. Okay, we are going to dip it in some more sauce. So there's queso and all that good stuff in here. But, yeah, being sick sucked. But the online virtual doctor, you guys, best thing ever. Like, that was so easy. Wow, the sauce. That is good. Mmm. I'm only going to do virtual doctors from now on. <laughs> if I'm sick. I am due for just like a checkup at a doctor's. I have not been in so long. But I should go just to get like my blood done and just get everything checked. But if I'm just like sick with a bad cold, sinus infection, anything like that, I usually just go to the CVS Minute Clinic. It's quick. But sometimes you do have to sit in the lobby and wait for a little bit. But if you like feel really bad, you don't want to be sitting there like waiting. Especially you get the germ, your germs everywhere. I don't know. And you can do anything off the virtual. Like it said, UTIs, like any sinus infection you're concerned about. And I was just on FaceTime with her. She's like, push on your stomach. Does that hurt? I'm like, no. And just like told her everything. Mmm. I'm glad I came here. When a place is like a small family business I feel like you know it's gonna be good okay what do I try next chips and queso and their chips are all homemade oh my gosh this big bowl of queso <laughs> that is a good stop but yeah who knew you could do that I did not know I was like throwing up and I'm like, I do not want to go into the doctor's office right now. And she gave me an anti-nausea medicine. I took two of them. Completely better. And it was only a dollar. <laughs> I think the visit cost money too. I don't know how much. 
it said starting at 99 but then like once you give your insurance and stuff I'm not sure what it came out to be I have to check my card I checked yesterday and I didn't see anything so unless it was free I mean it took 10 minutes it was super easy Mm -mm -mm. So I want to sign up for dance classes. Those that don't know, I used to do competition dance. I did jazz, lyrical, acro, ballet. I didn't do hip hop. I chose acro over hip hop, which I feel like I sh I would have liked hip hop honestly. But. I did, I did all the dance classes, and then once I started cheerleading, I didn't, have not, I didn't have time to do both because dance for competition was like every single day. These are good chips. But I miss dance, and last night I was looking up dance studios near me. And it was all like, I'm too old. It all said, like, 8 and up, 13 and up. And then you're not going to put a 23-year-old in a class with that young of kids. But if I find, like, an adult dancing, I don't know. I'm going to look because I really want to do it. Mmm. That is really good. I'm trying to like stop so I could try that. The birria taco. The chips almost taste like funnel cake. <laughs> like just freshly fried. And for what I have been waiting to try the birria tacos like I want to know what the sauce tastes like so bad or juice I'm pretty sure it's just like the beef juice or what whatever type of meat that is okay still really really hot but let's dip it in mmm that Oh, there's like a lot of cheese at the bottom too. This juice. Wow. That is good. Yeah, never had this before. I dipped it in queso too. With the onion on there. Mmm. So my mom went to Mexico. She just got back the other day. And it was her first time ever going out of the country. So her brother won a free business trip. And he was allowed to bring someone. So he asked my mom if she would like to go with him. We're just like, you need to go. Like, have fun with your brother. And it was her first vacation without my dad. So it's definitely like, like still really cool to see Mexico and nice to see the sun but just things like that like just hit you kind of all over again like make you miss someone so much more but at her resort there was giant angel wings which like I've never I've been to Mexico a few times twice and there was no angel rings, wings at my resort mm. I'm in white I always wear white when I'm eating something messy. <laughs> but yeah, there was angel wings. And then on the 11th, which was seven months since the accident, which it's absolutely crazy. It's been that long. Like, still kind of feels like yesterday. 
it still feels like unbelievable that it even happened like it's such a weird feeling like not a good feeling at all just it's like oh it's been that long but on that day the sun over there had like a big ring around it it's called like a halo around the sun so like that was kind of weird too but I haven't really seen too many signs anymore Wow. I don't know what I liked. Oh, I want those fries. I really loved the fries. That corn, the chips and queso, it is all very, very good. And I know this is like way too much food for me to eat all right now. I definitely cannot. I'm already kind of getting full. Cool. But since I drove out here, I wanted to get like the burrito and the burrito tacos and an appetizer, just kind of like a little bit of everything. So, yeah. We will have leftovers. And I have so much leftover queso. Mmm. I need my fork. Ooh, so many leftovers. It's all gonna be good. I had to try a little bit of everything. Maybe I could stop at my mom's and give her some too. I don't know if she's worried that I'm like still sick though, but I'm pretty sure it was food poisoning. But also the doctor said how there was like a few different stomach bugs going around. So there's really no way to tell. But with my symptoms, I think it was food poisoning. If so, that was my first time having it and it sucked very bad and now I like do I throw away my eggs I don't know if it was the eggs like I really don't know I did like the float or sink test so if you put a egg in a big cup of water if it floats it's gone bad because of like the air in the egg but if it sinks it's still good to eat so I did that and it sunk kind of One side of the egg was like at the bottom and the other side was floating. So I don't even know. <laughs> Should probably just throw them away. I did buy them back in February. <laughs> but it says like sell by April 17th or something. So, or March 17th. Oh, yeah. So like they should still be good because eggs last a while. So I don't know, but I have to stop at the post office after this and turn in all my taxes. I waited until the very last day. <laughs> Who else did that? <laughs> and all my friends, everyone was like trying to get it done last week and this week. Everyone waits till the very last minute because it's like, oh, I don't want to pay it. <laughs> This is the biggest bowl. I think this was $8. So you get a lot of queso. I saw that queso is actually not that bad for you. And like compared to shredded cheese and other cheeses, queso is one of the ones that is actually not that bad. Calorie wise per serving, which I don't really, I don't count that stuff. Like I don't really care. I'll just eat when I'm hungry and in moderation. Like, it's all about the balance, you know? It's all about the balance. So, like, right now, I am full. I am very full. And last night, I had... Yesterday, I only had chicken noodle soup, which, honestly, is my... Like, I do not really like chicken noodle soup. It's my least favorite kind of soup. I like tomato soup or French onion soup or cheesy broccoli soup, but those are all ones you should not eat if you are sick. <laughs> Definitely way too heavy and like milky, but 
I had chicken noodle soup and some Ritz crackers and then I ended up making a salad with some burger meat in it later at night because I was like getting hungry but then the day before that I really ate like nothing because I was sick but I'm glad to have my appetite back corn though is definitely like my favorite vegetable it's corn like a big lump with knobs and stop the juice I couldn't imagine a more beautiful thing it's spicy corn which <laughs> I bought you lote seasoning at Trader Joe's I cannot wait to try and make this at home there's also this corn dip I want to make that's like an elote corn dip probably just has like cream cheese in it too maybe mayo butter the seasoning maybe it was like Rotel I don't know I'm in a onesie right now, like the one piece. Oops. And it's hurting really bad. My jeans are so high waisted and tight. I need, I need to unbutton. What if I did my mukbangs from this angle? Just scarf down. <laughs> so, right after this video, I head to the eye doctor's. I got new eyeglasses. And I went in there with my pants unbuttoned. I completely forgot, and then when I walked out, I looked down, and I saw my pants were unbuttoned. I need to never do that again. Well, guys, I am so full, so I'm going to cut this video off here. That was also delicious. My favorite was this corn and the chips and queso. So good. So I'm going to have lots of leftovers, which all of this would reheat up pretty good, I'm pretty sure. Throw the tacos in the air fryer. Nothing would get dry because I got all that sauce. Juice. Not the sauce. I keep calling it the sauce. I don't know right what the right term would be. Just birria sauce? Juice? Oh gosh. Well, thank you guys all for voting this for today's video. I asked you guys on my Snapchat either Jimmy John's or Mexican. And Mexican won by a ton. So let me know down below in the comments what you'd like to see me eat next or try for the first time next. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.